Hello y'all, this is Kaiser Redux, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod that acts as an unofficial standalone expansion for the Kaiserreich mod. Kaiserreich itself takes place in a world where the central powers won World War I. With that out of the way, this video will be part one of an Abkhazia, Afro-Abkhazia path playthrough. To play as Abkhazia in KX, we do have to start off as Georgia and to even get to them, well to even get to Abkhazia in the first place we have to respond to some events in a certain way and just for the sake of establishing some narrative background as Georgia we have an event here that reads the minority situation worsens. The situation with the main minorities of Georgia has worsened greatly. The People's Council of Abkhazia, a council set up representing the Abkhazian people, has officially stated that the central government should call new elections. Protests have increased in Sakumi and Sochi in recent days, feeling empowered with the council's support. And for some greater context, within the time frame of this event, the Black Monday event has happened and things are somewhat unstable within Georgia. But continuing this event here, it says things are far worse in South Ossetia, Ossetia however, Though they have been relatively peaceful since the end of the Ossetian uprisings in 1920, it seems the economic collapse has once again sparked conflict in the area. The Georgian army have tried to keep the Ossetian revolters down, but the conflict is causing much damage to the area. Here's an Abkhazia-related event. Elections to the People's Council of Sukhumi. The People's Council of Sukhumi District, the devolved body established in the early days of the Republic to represent the Abkhaz people has recently hailed its local elections across the Abkhazshati region. The establishment of the People's Council allowed the Abkhaz people to not feel intimidated or threatened by the central government and to give them a voice in their region. The elections took place without a hitch, with more left-wing nationalist groups gaining control of the council. Another interesting event for us. Autonomy question for South Ossetia. With the elections to the People's Council of Sakumi a few weeks ago, people in the region of South Ossetia have begun to ask themselves why they do not have their own devolved body. Following the South Ossetian uprisings that ended in 1920, the region of South Ossetia, Ossetia had been relatively peaceful and self-determined, well, self-determination for the South Ossetian people faded to an obscure idea only held by intellectual circles. However, following the economic and subsequent political disasters in 1936, tensions once again flared up in the region, and with many remembering the violence of the early days of the Republic, and, well, the military detachment, and a military detachment was sent to the region all the way until the election. Now that the people of Abkhazia or Abkhazati have exercised their local democracy, the question that is beginning to enter the mainstream is rather the South Ossetian people deserve the same. Hopefully this is settled peacefully. Yeah, we'll see about that. South Ossetia Autonomy March in Shashanganavelli. The minor groups that have been fighting for South Ossetian autonomy seem to have finally broken into the mainstream with mass support for a pro-autonomy march that has taken place in Shishkanveli, the capital of South Ossetia, or the South, the capital of the South Ossetian region. Though there was no violence between protesters and police, there are fears that if demonstrations like this continue, more extremist elements of this movement might enter the mainstream. Oh dear. People's Council of Sakumi endorses South Ossetian autonomy. The left-wing controlled People's Council of Sakumi has officially announced that they, and therefore the Abkhazian region they represent, endorses the idea of a devolved body for the people of South Ossetia. It has become clear that this is something we cannot ignore, and many in government demand a response, lest the unrest in the South Ossetian region grow. Our response as Georgia will be, we cannot be pressured into this. Here is yet another event. South Ossetians begin to arm themselves. After being endorsed by the People's Council of Sakumi, many South Ossetians assumed that autonomy was on the way. When this desire for autonomy was rejected by our government, many have instead come to the conclusion that a crackdown in the region was on the way. Therefore, many South Ossetians in the region 
remembering the multiple conflicts that have occurred in the region, have begun to arm themselves with weapons smuggled in from the north. There is still a chance to end any danger of conflict if autonomy for the region is announced. Instead, it'd be a good idea to increase the military presence there, and let's choose to take the harsh option, which is to increase military presence. Military police killed three protesters. Following further protests across the South Ossetia region, military police were forced to establish a permanent presence there. After a few hours of protest in Shushkin Valley, a fire was started, which after being blamed on the protesters, led to clashes between military police and protesters. The situation quickly deteriorated and a riot broke out. During clashes throughout the night, many people were injured and three rioters were killed. The news of the deaths spreading across the South Ossetian region, tensions have flared and we should expect a reaction from the people. Guess this can't be solved peacefully. South Ossetian rebels attack military base. Following the deaths of protesters a few days ago, a group of disorganized South Ossetian rebels have gathered together and attacked a military base near the northern border. Well, northern border. Though the military presence there was able to quickly pacify the attackers, it led to the death of 13 Ossetians and 4 Georgian troops. It is clear that something drastic must be done to defuse the situation. We could finally give in to South but well, we could finally give in to the South Ossetian demands for autonomy or crack down on them hard to finally crush any desire for autonomy by force. And let's choose the second option, crack down hard militarily. Military crackdown in South Ossetia. Following tensions flaring in the South Ossetian region, the military has been sent in to crush any further resistance in the area. Many of the ringleaders of the protests and riots have been arrested and the protests have been broken up by force. Though there have been clashes with rebels, they have quickly been put down by the military. South Ossetia is secure, but now Abkhazia is not. Abkhazian separatist military formations storm Sakumi. With the news of our violent oppression in the South Ossetian region, a separatist military formation of Abkhaz regionalists headed by Simon Basara, a popular politician in Sakumi, has stormed the capital of the Abkhaz region in order to overthrow the People's Council of Abkhazia, which they claim to be consisted of Georgians and not representing the people's, well it's not representing the people, it's not representing the people's Abkha of Abkhazia. They have demanded a great amount of autonomy for their region and banning of Georgians to participate in the politics of Abkhazia. And let's choose now to introduce the army in Sakumi. Armed clashes in Sogdidi, or Sogjai, Sog, whatever, Sogdidi. In a small city of Sogdidi at the edge of Abkhazia, our army has engaged into armed clashes with Abkhazian separatist formations. The bloody fight in urban area went on for several days until we unfortunately lost control of Sogdidi. With the fall of this city, it seems that the last Georgian stronghold in Abkhazia has fallen. No way. Increased contingent of forces in the region. Very important event for us here. Simon Basaria proclaims independent Abkhazia. Simon Basaria, or Basaria, a local Abkhaz politician and now leader of the People's Council of Abkhazia, with agreement of the majority of the council, has declared the independence of Abkhazia due to the Georgian oppression and the will and will of the Abkhaz people to have their own state. Without further notice, additional troops from Tbilisi has approached Sakumi, getting ready to storm the city and disband, disband an illegal republic. So let's play as Abkhazia now. This is the event we need to do that. That is done, and now Georgia is fighting Abkhazia, who is basically seceding, and they want to try and get their independence. We have like four divisions here, four militia units. One's a very experienced troop, it looks like, or at least have they're veterans. As for the national spirits, we have desolated land, disorganized insurgency, and a fight for our survival, which is quite good. As for ruling ideology, we have paternal autocracy of the red-tinted autocrat variety or whatever. And now, let's grab our divisions. That's that. And get them a commander. 
There we are, General Valerian, 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 something. Valerian and the Abkhaz Joint Command will be our field marshal. So let's set up a front line here and gradually push forward into Georgia. Who may not put up too much resistance, I think, because perhaps their divisions may have mysteriously disappeared. But I won't say if they did or not. Now let's start doing the focus, Abkhazia in flames. It says here, with the Georgian suppression of the minorities, Sion Basaria has rallied the nation and managed to proclaim independent Abkhazia. And that focus will take only seven days, so we must wait for that to be done. As for our research tree, get improved machine tools as well as excavation two and support weapons one. And let's build a civilian factory in Abkhaz. Well, Abkhazia. And now we must push. We must push forward ever so slightly. So take a couple provinces here or there, in this area in particular. And we have a history of Abkhazia event here. Abkhazia, or the Abkhaz themselves, call their country. Absini is a region located on the northeast coast of the Black Sea, inhabited since ancient times. Already in the 8th century, an independent church of Abkhazia was formed. And in the 15th century, as a result of the collapse of the United Georgian Kingdom, the Principality of Abkhazia appeared on the world map. Called under the vassalage of the Ottoman Empire, the Principality under the rule of the Shavahiz Chachba dynasty was converted to Islam, though not completely. Rebellions of Abkhazians against the power of the Empire continued until finally in 1866, the Principality of Abkhazia was abolished and annexed to Russia and the last rebellion was oppressed while well, suppressed. Immediately after the February Revolution of 1917, power in Sakumi was in the hands of the Abkhaz People's Council led by Saim Basaria. However, he and his companions failed to lobby for joining of Abkhazia to the newly formed Federation of Mountainous, well, the Federation of Mountainous Republic, and soon Basaria was dismissed and power in Abkhazia passed into the hands of the Mensheviks. By signing a treaty on accession to Georgia within the framework of autonomy, the Abkhaz People's Council thus completed a short period of albeit largely nominal independence. And let's read a quick political event, I guess, who is struggling for power. And it says here, politics of Abkhazia. For a time being, power in Abkhazia has returned to the Abkhaz People's Council, first dispersed by separatists and then restored under the leadership, under the leadership of Sambasaria. Thus, the Abkhaz People's Council seeks to complete separation of Abkhazia from Georgia and possible accession to the Mountain Republic as an equal state. On the other hand, they are opposed by the Social Democratic Party of Abkhazia, led by Varium, Varium Shavahizi, a pro-Georgian Menshevik Abkhazian who has no intention of submitting to the Abkhaz minority. If Simon Basaria, if Simon Basaria intends to hold a constituent assembly, the SDPA elected by Georgians and pro-Georgian Abkhazians will certainly have a majority in it. Finally, the third party in the small republic is the armed formations of Klaus Nestor Lakaba, a Bolshevik and patriot of Abkhazia who is very popular among the Abkhaz as a man who achieved many reforms for the Abkhaz during Georgian rule. So many sides in such a, in such a small region. And with that, I think what I'm going to do now is end what is part one of my Abkhazia, Afro-Abkhazia path played through in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description, the link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.